The Yellowstone Caldera is a supervolcano which spreads beneath the states of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho. And it gets its chilling nickname due to the ability to inflict devastation on a global level. And it's constantly monitored by the USGS for signs that such an event is on its way. This big event is something that has only happened three times in history. 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago, leaving some to claim that it's overdue for eruption. So what are the warning signs that would be seen long before this eruption happened? This video will explain that and the after effects. The question is, could you survive this event? Wait till the end to find out even more about another event which will shock you even more. But first, the first sign of a Yellowstone eruption would probably be the ground rising. For example, just before Mount St. Helens erupted, the mountain bulged, growing five feet a day. A similar kind of uplift would be likely at Yellowstone anywhere between 5 and 10 feet over a number of days. Now to put this in perspective, each type of volcanic eruption has a scale from 0 to 8, the maximum. But St. Helens when it blew was an IE level 5. Yellowstone is expected to be an IE 8, 10,000 times more powerful than Mount St. Helens. Now in Yellowstone it would probably lift the whole Cordera an area the size of Houston and Dallas, 10 feet or more, into the air. Weeks or even months before Yellowstone super eruption, these warning signs would trigger the biggest ever of all evacuations. The area 60 to 100 miles around the volcano would be designated as a hazard zone. An alert on the surrounding region, up to 200 miles further, would ready people to expect a violent eruption. So while evacuating the area, geologists would look out for new warning signs that would tell them an eruption is imminent. So the people in the government, aid agencies and FEMA, could be more prepared. Earthquakes produce distinctive waveforms on seismographs, and the cracks of rocks fracturing create a signal that starts with a sharp rise and then fades fairly quickly. Yellowstone has hundreds of earthquakes each year, but it gets worrying when it reaches two or over. This year alone, this has been the trend. On the 4th of March, 3.3. 29th of May, there were three, 2.5s and 2.8. On the 6th of June, 2.6, and on the 15th of June, a 2.8. And in August, just gone, on the 21st, it was a 2.5. So is this a sign of something happening? Long before an eruption, swarms of earthquakes would sweep the hazard zone and the surrounding area. Now, just before a volcanic eruption, the signal produced by regular earthquakes, as shown here, would give way to a new signal, a long, continuous vibration, as the magma rises, making the sides of the now cracked rock vibrate. Now, scientists call this a harmonic tremor, and it's the last warning that you get. It's what magma racing to the surface would look like. For anyone stupid or foolish enough to remain in the hazard zone, the chances of escape and survival would be seen. Then the eruption happens, which is bad enough. But then comes the shockwave, knocking down trees, damaging property, etc. But the worst is yet to come. Huge quantities of Syrian hot ash mixed with rock and magma and gas will hurtle down in all directions as a pyroclastic flood. With temperatures of 1500 degrees, there will be nowhere to run or to hide. You will have left it too late. Falling ash would cover half the United States, reaching Denver in approximately 24 hours. Ashing rivers would turn it into a lahar clogging pumping stations, nuclear reactors would have to shut down, 
that they could not get clean water from the rivers to pull them. There would be no fresh water. Transport would stop because of ash falling. No electric. Hospitals couldn't operate. And even looting might take place as food runs out. This is a disaster on a biblical scale. Yellowstone could be pumping ash into the sky to 10 miles or more. And even people a thousand miles away would have falling ash and could die if they breathe in that ash. Volcanic ash is rocks that have been blown apart into tiny, tiny particles of glass with jagged edges. In 1815, Tambora in Indonesia had a super eruption. The gases emitted estimated to be 200 million tons of sulfur dioxide rose into the stratosphere and were carried around the world, causing sunlight to be bounced off this veil of gas meaning it could not fully warm the earth. So the earth got colder and caused snow and ice and starvation. Even snowfall and heavy frost were seen in June, July and August, which occurred with a one degree drop in temperature. There was famine in both India and China. The Yellowstone super volcano would be many times greater with an estimated drop of 10 degrees worldwide, triggering a mini ice age. This would affect even tropical regions with vegetation above ground, causing them to die and losing the growing season one to two years. Though its effect would be worldwide, even in Saudi Arabia, India, Australia, with heavy frosts and heavy snowfall with bitterly cold days and nights in Asian countries, which today is unthinkable. This would be the single biggest disaster to hit the modern world. People say that this won't erupt for the next 70,000 years, in which case we don't care. But then other scientists say that this could happen in the next five to 10 years. If that's the case, then you need to start planning and packing now. Look out for our next video on the other one that is just as dangerous as Yellowstone, but which could explode sooner than Yellowstone itself. Don't forget to subscribe to know more when this next video becomes live. Thank you for watching. I've been watching Yellowstone since 2014 and collected data on Yellowstone all the time. Now, in a year, I might get two or three alerts in the whole of the year. What happened on Thursday the 10th even shocked me. Suddenly, and apologies for uh, the delay in putting the original video up, but this was important that I had to get it on this video. On Thursday the 10th of this month, the alerts first came in at 12.46. And the first one was for 2.6. Then the next one I had was 13.22. And that was another 2.6. Not unusual. Uh, thought I was only just going to get those two. But then at 13.47, another one came in for 2.7. Then at 13.54, a 2.5. 14.10 another 2.5, 14.25, yet another 2.5, and at 14.31, I got a 2.8 alert come in. 15.30, a 2.5, 19.38, a 2.5, and then finally at 21.53, a 2.8. A total of 10 alerts in one day. I've never experienced that since 2014. That is worrying. Does it mean that the lava is pushing up through the cracked ground, heading towards the surface? I don't know, but it's certainly something I'm going to keep an eye on, and it's something that's interesting for you. Thank you for watching.